Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing the lineup build for today's tennis slate. Um, yesterday was obviously extremely successful. Um, we actually took down the uh, the tennis slate all by ourselves, and uh, for five thousand dollars, building right for you guys um, on the stream. So uh, again, that that doesn't happen all too often. So it's pretty important to relish that when it does. Um, so we're gonna probably stick to the same process for a while. And and I, I want to review what we did. Okay. Cause that this is, you know, the the environment in DFS changes pretty frequently. And as the environment changes, it impacts the way you use uh the tools and the sims and things like that. What what I commented on yesterday was that um in building your your contest fields, um, there were two main choices that I had. Listen, I'm, I'm not good enough to make like multiple contest fields and do sampling and things like that to really do this perfectly. But with tennis, uh, th there's two dynamics that are at play here. Number one is that um, projections are extraordinarily tight. Okay, it's extremely easy to make good projections because it just so much of it just depends on win odds. Uh, there's a certain amount of aces that are involved, but in general, it's 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 mostly just based on win odds. So it's extraordinarily easy to um, to make projections. And when you pull the industry, and you even if you hunt for projection systems, you know that are a little offbeat, you, you still get standard deviations extremely low with the median projections. Um, so that's one thing. And then the other thing is that the ownership projections are just extraordinarily atrocious. Um, and, and I say atrocious, I don't mean that particularly demeaning um, as if people don't try or whatever. I just, I just can't, I just haven't found any way right now to adequately project ownership. Like yesterday, for, for as an example, um, you know, I'm going to pull this up. So he, here's here's um, one thing that I do. I track um, my ownership projections, which which are pretty close to the industries anyway, and I track it relative to what actually happened. And I just want to show you. <laughs> Like what happened yesterday? So yesterday, I'm gonna share this here. So these are the projected ownerships and these were the actuals. And I rated them by where I was most off. And this thing, I just, I can't, I really can't wrap my head around. So Shang was, I had a project I had a projected a 15% owned. And I also account for the fact that I could be like just completely outliering. So I, I actually compare it to like the rest of the industry just to make sure it's like sort of within the ball game. And even the whole industry had this around this. Okay. Um and he came in at 40. I, I don't quite get it. Um and I was even asking around. Uh, the Discord channels, and I was saying, "Hey, does anybody know why this was this was pounded? Was there a line change or anything I was unaware of?" And nobody really had anything for me. Um, so it, I, again, this is one of the great mysteries of DFS is is how to project ownership in tennis. If anybody can can do it, figure it out. That's, I mean, that's great. I mean, one thing I will notice my ownership I it did not add up to six hundred, so. There's actually some inefficiencies in here in these projections, but not much. Um, so very, very strange. Now, as it turns out, Shang busted really hard, uh, which obviously helped me. But the point is, is that the ownership projections are just really tough. So I say that because when you're selecting the contest fields, I, mean, I usually go, you know, I have one of two options. Number one is I use the field lineups. Um, uh, 
I could use flagship MME or some of these stock lineups, which are basically tied to SaberSim ownerships, okay, or something else. And and what I found recently is that if the ownership projections themselves are going to be so bad, but the projections are going to be pretty tight, forget if they're going to be correct or not. What it means is that I could probably project better what people are going to do based on projections than on ownership projections. Now, again, that seems so strange, right? But but it's just reality. Um, and so what I've been doing is using this 5,000 lineup build that I created based on these projections as the contest field. And listen, we, we, a lot of people in the industry talk about this, this whole concept. And a lot of sports, it just doesn't really make any sense. Not doesn't make any sense. It makes some sense. But in tennis, I this is what I'm going with <laughs> uh, it, for the near future. It just has happened too often where you remember when I when I did the solo takedowns back to back like a couple of months ago, both of those were based on this this approach. So I, I haven't dug into the math behind it, but you know, hashtag whatever works, I guess, to some degree. Um, so we are going to sim using this 5,000 lineup build. We'll go back to here. We'll run the contest sims. See, you know what? I see this. I, I, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little suspicious that something is off with this. this. This is kind of, that was kind of a weird Saberson glitch that happens sometimes when you had one build and then you, which I did a little earlier and then you replace it and you, then you resim it. You get that note that they want to re upload the, the contest files. I, I just I'm not sure that I'm getting the right builds that way. So I'm just going to start over. So it's building the lineups here. And now we'll run the contest sims from this page. Ooh, but did I... And I do have build one. See that I screwed up. I used build one instead of build two. But I think it's the same. Because the, the build one that I just made right now with the 63, what was build one? Like this, as opposed to build two. Let's let's do it right. Let's let's do build two. Contest. Build two. Build two. Oops. Build. I don't want build one. Just build two. Okay. Good. Back to here. Run the contest sim again. And now at least we're up to speed, I think. Okay. So now we have our, our sim to build here. And, and now we just have to dedupify it just a little bit. Um, and then we might have to go do something with mean uniques. But let's first dedupify it. And I, I, I've been using the geo mean filtering. Um, and it seems to do a decent job. Um, so let's let's remind ourselves what we're trying to do here. Number of lineups is 1568. So we'll get our geo geomean calculator. We already put this in. And if we want to limit it to one dupe max, we'll go a geomean of 29.3. So you'll see that it's already going to make some changes here. And this is good. On a short slate, you want to be you know, you want to be off the board somewhat if you can't. So add filter, geo mean, less than 29.3 again. This is kind of our tennis magic number with this type of, you know, field size. And and we're good. So the only thing I want to accomplish now is, is, is see if I need to, or if I can increase my min uniques without destroying my my lineups here so let's again let's put these 
we have these metrics up here that rank the entire portfolio, um, destination ROI, things like that. And let's add just good old fashioned average projection. of 323. So let's go from Min Uniques 1 to Min Uniques 2 and see. So it actually helped the average projection to do this. Min destination ROI went down to 6.7, which is okay. I just don't want it to go to negative, and I think it will. And then, yeah, so it went negative here. So we'll 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 use and this is part of the art obviously. I mean, I'm not I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to tolerate, but I think this is probably a good place to to start. So we have our projections. We use the um, this the self sim method of using contest sims. We um, did geo mean filtering to kind of dedupify this if possible, and we went min uniques as many as we could without um, without impacting the ROI. And I think that that's good. Uh, that'll do it. Let's uh, make sure that. To put these in where we needed to put them in. Let's do, we can do direct fill, but it doesn't really matter. Let me just put them all in like this. Oops. Save to contests. Oh, I know what we did. Okay, so this is where we messed up. We don't need to do a geo mean of 27 for the breakpoint. Okay, so let's let's get rid of that. Where is that guy? Yeah. So let's get rid of the geo mean filter for the breakpoint. And boom. And if you care, this is who we're playing in the breakpoint. Um sound good? All right, we're good. So we're gonna upload those to DraftKings and we're off to the races. Uh, we got to check uh, for dupes probably and do dupe push-ups um, after the lo after lock, but you're, you're, you know I'm not going to be recording for that. Upload, and we are good. All right, that's it. Good luck, everybody.